children of all ages, I'd like to welcome you to Griffith Observatory's very own Tesla Coil. Now, how many first timers do I have here at the Griffith Observatory's first time here? Congratulations on making it up the mountain into the air conditioned building. No. no. No trip to an observatory would ever be complete without learning some kind of space jokes. I prepared for you one free mandatory space joke. All right, here we go. An astronaut went to a restaurant on the moon. He said they had great service, but he doesn't recommend it because there's no atmosphere. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, before I go into a little bit of the history of this machine, let me give you a brief demonstration of what this technology actually does. So prepare yourself for a shocking experience in five, Four, three, two, one. Now, this machine serves a practical purpose. It was designed by an electrical engineer. His name was Nikola Tesla. He wanted to create free power for everyone everywhere, forever. Now you see there's a problem with this kind of concept because his sponsors can't make money on something that's free, so unfortunately we don't have free energy. But this Tesla coil is actually plugged into the wall, converting DC current into AC current and emitting it from the nodes on top of the Tesla coil. Now, one direct, there is a problem with this type of technology. It's called the inverse square law. It's just a fancy way of saying your distance away from this machine multiplied by itself is how much power you need. Oh, you stand one foot away from this machine, you lose one times the power. You stand two feet away, you lose four times the power. And this continues based on your distance from the Tesla coil. In order to overcome the inverse square law, you must build Tesla coils on every street corner of the planet in order to power it wirelessly. So imagine listening to this 24 hours a day. It gets kind of distracting, so instead of Tesla coils, we use wires to transmit electrical energy across great distances.